Today, Horizon announced some massive changes to their platform, their ecosystem, uh, really the future of their project. So today, let's just take a quick glance at what the changes are and the impacts to miners. So if you're unaware, Horizon is a uh, privacy-focused coin, as all Equihash coins typically are. And so it is the base Equihash algo. It was a kind of a fork off of Zcash Komodo. So if we hop on over to mining pool sets, you'll see Zcash currently has around uh, 11 gigasoles on their network. Komodo only has 81 megasoles. Horizon has 1.7 gigasoles. And it's kind of up there. There are other chains like Hush. Uh, it used to be pretty popular. They only have 4.7 megasoles now. And Pirate Chain has 42 megasoles on their network. So those are, and then we've got Digital Price as well. Uh, and then also Bitmark has an Equihash chain, which appears to be, uh, it's still alive. There's just, there's no pulls up for it, it looks like. So these are, and then there's a few other ones in here. These are all the coins that you can mine with Equihash ASICs. So things like the Z series from Bitmain. Uh, you've got your Z9s, your uh, Z11, Z15, all of those. And what Horizon has done is they're rolling out what is called Horizon 2.0. And this gets rid of mining. So if you take a look at uh, this article that they put out today. So this was just posted seven hours ago. And if we scroll down, take a look here, what they're moving from. So they are moving from a proof of work coin. Um, so they originally had the original Horizon, uh, which was proof of work. They had what they called secure nodes. And then they moved to this Eon, uh, kind of an EVM side chain. So they started this shift where they had this side chain running, which was running delegated proof of stake but they still had the proof of work main chain running. They are now doing a shift to what they're calling Horizon 2.0, which has a pure consensus of delegated proof of stake. Um, it's still going to use Zen for the gas and governance token, but they are moving to a delegated proof of stake. This means you're going to have validators running and the end consumers will have the ability to delegate their coins to a validator. Uh, it is still ZK Snarks, so you're still going to have um, ZK Verify transactions. And that's what this part is here. And then uh, here you can see kind of those backwards compatibility, which is mainly the claim windows if, in order to get, uh, you know, if you have existing coins, you're obviously going to have to kind of migrate those over uh, because they're now moving away from, you can see they were originally a proof of work main chain. That main chain is kind of going away and they're now having a EVM uh, compatible main chain. So instead of being that Equihash based uh, proof of work chain, they're now gonna be EVM, fully EVM compatible. Uh, so that is, it's definitely nice to see uh, that they are going to be EVM compatible. However, this means that they're not going to be mineable anymore unless you consider ZK mining, which uh, is a little bit of a touchy subject. But if we hop on over to their docs, we take a look at their architecture diagram. This is now what I will say about this doc site. They still don't have a lot of information populated here. Uh, they do have some of the consensus stuff. But if you go to tutorials, for setting up a collator. Uh, they don't have any of the docs up yet. Uh, again, they just announced this stuff today, so everything is still relatively new, but they do have the architecture info up here. Um, what we can see is that uh, it's basically, they're designed to be a substrate-based parachain working in conjunction with the ZK Verify chain, um, the latter operating as the relay chain. So Substrate is a blockchain framework developed by Parity Technologies that allows developers to build custom blockchains quickly and efficiently. So what you're going to have is you're going to have the ZK Verify Relay Chain that sits out here. 
And then you have ZK validators. So these are going to be your zero knowledge proofs. Uh, the validators for those will be here. Then you'll have the Horizon Parachain, which will be Zen 2.0. And then you'll have collators. So you can think of these as kind of like your delegators, your block, uh, block verifiers. Um, that's going to sit out here. That's actually going to submit the blocks. Uh, and again, because this is a delegated proof of stake network now, you're going to be delegating your stake to those validators. And then here you can even see it tells you here they send, uh, so uh, collator C5, uh, if they're selected as the proposer for the next block, they'll sub send the unsealed block, and they'll also send the proof of validity to the ZK verifier validator to check. So they'll basically send it back up here, and then it'll get relayed out. Uh, here you can see ZK Verify Relay Chain Validator secure both the Relay Chain and the Horizon Parachain. Uh, collators are similar to Forgers on any other blockchain. And so you, if you're familiar with Zen, I mentioned they used to have secure nodes. Then they moved to Forger nodes. Those Forger nodes are going away. So now uh, you basically have these collators. Um, they don't provide any crypto economic security guarantees because Relay Chains provide those. So they're only needed to produce the blocks that extend uh, to their finalized chain, which the finalized chain being the parachain here. Uh, Horizon collators maintain the parachain by collecting parachain transactions from users, producing state transition proofs for relay chain validators. In other words, collators maintain parachains by aggregating parachain transactions into parachain block candidates, producing state transition proofs uh, for the validators. Relay chain validators will reject invalid blocks. Collators are selected to become block authors with a proof of stake consensus. Uh, this is the very important piece. And obviously you can see there's no more mining here. So there's no miners involved here. And if we hop on over to the consensus section, I'm not going to go through all this, but this kind of tells you what the aura consensus is. This is how it decides which collators um, can do the block proposals uh, per round and then the authority selection and then the rewards uh, we can cover this real quick the end of each session also marks the time when collators rewards are calculated rewards are composed by transaction fees collected in the block and the coin base which is new zen mended of each block authored uh, we'll take a look at the tokenomics here to see if it's just at all there's a fixed collator commission of 15 percent the remaining 85% of the rewards are delivered to delegators, proportionally to the amount of delegated stake. So what this means is if you run a collator, which is essentially a delegator node, then you're getting 15% of that block, and then 85% of those rewards go to the people who delegated their stake to you. And based on their weight of stake, will determine what percentage of that 85% they get. Payments are made once per block until all payments have been made. In each such block, one collator is chosen for reward payment and is paid along with each of its delegators. Uh, additional rules and constraints on how to join leave the set of candidates, stake unstake, are in the stake and delegation tutorial, which they have not even set up yet. So we can't actually see uh, what the staking, unstaking, periods, what those durations, lockups, anything might be. Uh, if we hop on over to the tokenomic section, uh, you can see they're still going to have uh, 21 million Zen. And we can see 40% of the remaining supply of the old Zen main chain at the moment of the initial bootstrap of the parachain is reserved to the coin base. And then every new block authored uh, contains some of those 40%, obviously. Uh, the coin base rewards authoring the block. Get that, obviously. Increases the rewards coming from transaction fees and redistributed uh, with the same rules. The Coinbase algorithm is designed to mimic same emission rate of the old main chain. So they're not trying to change the emission rate at all with us. Uh, but there will be a smooth curve instead of a fixed halving steps. So this means at the beginning of the parachain, the Coinbase is tuned to be similar to 40% of the main chain emissions rate after the third halving. Uh, approximately 40% of the 3.12, uh, which equates to every two and a half minutes, the block reward will be 1.25 Zen. 
and then it's going to slowly reduce on every new block with an approximate rate of minus 50% every four years. And what this means is you're going to basically every block, you're going to get a gradual reduction in the reward uh, that will over time equal to a halving every four years. Uh, so instead of doing a big bang halving uh, at that fourth year mark, it'll basically be a uh, slow reduction in rewards. And we get to the pre-minting part. So 60% of the, re so we talked about 40% of the remaining supply are going into uh, essentially the pool of rewards that will be distributed uh, over the rest of the emission schedule. Over 60% of those uh, are being pre-minted to specific addresses with the following destination. 32.5% are going to the Zen Foundation, 27.5% are going to the Dell Treasury. For all the above, 25% of the allocation is immediately unlocked. Uh, the remaining, uh, I think they mean to say unlocked, uh, the remaining 75% bested linearly with unlocked approximately every 30 days for four years. So essentially in four years, the Foundation and the Dell will have access to 60% of the remaining emissions from a tokenomic standpoint. So this is, I'll leave this up to you guys, but essentially uh, validators, stakers are going to get 40% of the remaining rewards. 60% uh, is basically going to Horizon and to the DAO. Uh, the other thing I did want to just bring up real quick is uh, within that document that they have, I'm not going to read through this, but I do recommend uh, just taking a look through this. They do talk about um, what they're planning to do with the uh, zero knowledge proofs. Uh, definitely recommend reading through this. Uh, they also talk about kind of some of their branding changes that they're going through, uh, community, all of that. Basically, just welcome everybody to the New Horizon um, obviously, a lot more info to come. This was kind of their brief announcement of everything that's happening. Site has been completely revamped. The Forger Node docs, all of those are no longer on their website. So it looks like this is really in the process of being rolled out, like effective today. So it'll be really interesting to see what this timeline is when uh, mining stops on Zen because... We're going to be seeing, you know, 1.7 gigasoles. That's about 10% of what's on Zcash today. That's either going to have to flood these other Equihash coins or it's going to flood Zcash. So regardless of what happens, like if you have a Z15, Z15 Pro, um, you know, we were, we were looking at possibly bringing Z9s back online. Uh, we're really close to that profitability level. But at this point, it's looking like, a lot of these other coins are going to get wrecked with hash rate. And if you're planning on running a Zen node, definitely not going to be able to do that anymore.